Alrighty. Let's head back underground, I guess. I do want to get this treasure. I'm guessing I'll just go to this shrine. Well, light route underground. And go get that treasure. Still wondering how to enable all of this. Like how to build the robots. Oh, the music in this area is so cool. Let's see, can I build my vehicle here? Yes, very nice. Under here. If at all possible. Because it might not be possible actually. Yeah, this might just be a straight up wall. Which would make sense, because it is water, so it should be not connected. How does this water flow? Okay. Lucky I don't think I can get to the other side, actually. Oh well. There's the music swap, back to the normal music. Yeah, I guess I will have to go around that though. I also just noticed that I don't have a light on my bike. To land here somewhere. Yep, that worked out fairly well. Let's just wait for the battery to recharge. Ooh, lava falls. There's a hot spring here. Huh. Is there a shrine here even? Oh, well, there is one. Oh yeah, I can't even see it there. That lava falls. Okay, sure. I was like warm for a split second. <laughs> okay, what's around me here? A few buildings actually. 
Another Colosseum on the other side. Wow, this actually cleared up everything. Just not the Hateno shrines. And then this one shrine here. Okay, I was not expecting that at all. Probably don't have a good weapon anymore for this. Does this work? It does. Okay. Well, I remember seeing a big bow here. And if I know anything about these lava things, it is that the big bow signals a chest. Nope. There it is. Yep. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, that wasn't even on the ground. I was hoping for a lucky flip that I would be the right side up again. That didn't happen though. Alright. Uh, where do I go first? There's a Colosseum here. The water actually makes interesting landscapes down here. Like, I was actually surprised by how big and open all of this was, but yeah, there is, like, no water here. Same for Gerudo. Like, I did all of this in, like, one go, almost. Um, yeah, let's go to Hateno first, I guess. It's the exact opposite direction. Wait, I'm burning here. Okay. There was some other structures nearby, right? Yeah, down there. Might as well check this chest for loot. Yep. Opa! Okay, I'll take it. Looks pretty interesting over there. Oops, never mind, it's just some mountains. Or Yiga Tower. Another Stalnox as well. Why is it so dark here? Oh, I see why it's dark there. It's this light through its territory. Just shows way brighter on the map than it actually is.
I wasn't expecting to arrive here so soon. Alright, let's get the random schematic here as well. If I manage to find it at least. Are you the one? I heard your pop up. Yep. That's what I needed. Bridge. That's actually a nice thing to build. Actually, are all these schemas the things I need for the robot assembly? Now I'm wondering. Like, could I solve these puzzles with all these auto build thingies? You know, but you actually scared me down there. Wow. Why is there some zonite there? It's actually built the bridge. I was looking for this big po, but I thought it was behind the building. Bridge. This thing is huge. Uh. Oh, what happened there? That's kind of ruined my bridge. My controller failing or something. How do I angle this correctly? Not like this, that's for sure. Let's just already assemble it. So much easier. It's just a bow. Ah, no, that chest is there. It takes so long to turn. That's nice. Not sure if I will ever use this, but it's nice. Like, this machine just works way too well. Don't want to fight you right now. 
Oh, you're actually down here already. Alright, that's the last spot here. Let's go collect that one spot and then the treasure as well. Maybe check out the Colosseum. Still pretty dark there. All the light routes. Oh, another grove. Three's gonna ruin my day again. I already know. Did I not get a single one? Yep. That's impressive. <laughs> Starting to really dislike these groves. It's basically like any. Collection of small trees could be a grove. Like that could be a grove as well, I'm thinking. Is this is gonna be a grove as well. Oh, what's up there? That's oh, a talus, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, I know exactly which talus it is as well. Yeah, it's that one. Wait, did the location of these bosses actually always mimic to this underworld? I know of a Lionel here. Well, it's not here, it's more there. I was thinking maybe that I found this Lionel up here. That's the stable, it's literally on the stable, what? We have another Lionel somewhere. There. Yeah, the Lionels are the stables, actually. Ah. Yeah, I want to check that theory out. Which means there should be a Lionel there as well. Well, I will see him if I go to the shrine. Looks ominous. Just continue on. What's what can you have there? Colosseum is right there, actually. There's a lot of weapons to be had here, wowie. <laughs> well, this isn't really helping me. Do I even want to fly for this short distance? Uh, 
Alright, what's in here? The secluded Colosseum. Dissolvos? Yeah, that's, those are Lysalphos. Okay, Lysalphos Colosseum, let's go. Whoa, you're afraid of a flame breathing one. My first fire breathless awful stale. All this time in the game, wow. And I need it for upgrading like two different armor sets as well. Ooh, details. Your icy ones, I can tell. You dodged that, nice. Not sure what to do against electric, though. Oh, I never had a reinforced Lizzle shield as well. Why am I getting so much new stuff here? Oh my, me just taking some pictures. Did you murder two of them already? Oh. To shoot your horn, but I also don't want to get electrocuted. How did that not work? Thank you, very cool. The white one. What is your weapon, though? I really like your horn. That is just stun locks them actually. And one of each, right? I'm so really surprised that the bomb arrows didn't get anything. Yeah, that's more like it. Fly! Don't like that he's on the stairs. A 
The fact that they fall over so easily is kind of insane to me. Electric Lizolf will still also didn't have one of those yet. Wow. There's three new items in this cool sim alone. It's pretty crazy. But what's in here? Rabio suit, okay. Wearing it increases your sideways climbing speed. Is that because, like, the painting thing? Was that a cobble crusher? All right, Mr. Hinox. Uh, Hinox. Well, there is a Hinox, actually. Wow. Hey, it is a grove. It's all the way over there. So that does scare it, okay. What's this cut? No treasure. Got my bag. Cool. Oh, you scared me again. Where would the line all be? About there, in front of the stone. If my theory is correct. There he is, I think. Yo. Okay, so there's a vinyl under every stable. This is actually a pretty hard uh, light route to get to as well, it seems. Canyons. Yep. Tunic of the hero. I think I already have one of those. Nope, I did not. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's this entire region knocked out. Thinking of flying up here to get those two as well, since there is no other... Well, there is another way to get them, but since I'm 
Kinda close by now anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that actually. Now to get out of this canyon. That was too bad, actually. All right. He's going crazy on his horse. What do you have for me? Or Talos. Don't have Talos marked up here. That means at this point. Actually, forgot that I found that here. Other question is if I want to deal with that right now. Because it's also not the easiest of boss fights. Just seeing the insect like that. It's actually pretty scary. Ah, what the hell? Let's just do it. But does it have to be reduced? Thing? Can't I just like shoot some? electrical thing on it myself. Oh, I totally can. Wow, okay. That changes things. Smack, 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 smack. That's phase one. It's raining Gibdos. Don't tell me what link. Oh, you're not falling down? Oh, you are. Just all the way over here. Break for the well. All right, that's where I got the wing from. It's also gonna break, really. A well, master sword will finish the shelf, I guess. Why am I getting the Gibdos?
Oh, I'm using a big weapon. Even. Whoops, don't want to be doing that. Get the Master Sword finish the deal. me this ugly wing as well. I'll just fuse it Master Sword. There we go. Plus 40. Jesus. I actually wonder if these bosses also respawn or if they're just a one-time deal. Which side was I going to? That side. Oh, there's another final here. Which makes sense, because there's another stable there. Okay. What type of final are you? Silver Lionel. Nope. Not dealing with you right now. Or am I? I guess I could deal with you. Maybe. Back up for like 30 seconds. Oh, 50 seconds. I'll eat it once I get there. How about it's all... Stuff I don't want to stand on. I have to break through his shield and stuff as well. Nah, okay, I'm good. Rocks, yay, procs. Blue white rocks as well. Boom. I see one of the shrines, but that's the second one already. This is my first stop. Threading the needle. Threading the needle. I already saw a mine or something to the north of here. Yeah, there it is. I just noticed the lights being on. Um, oh, that's nice, thank you. Grenal Canyon. Aunt Grenal is from uh, Minish Cap. Browsers of the Sky. Okay. Do I actually have anything of the sky? This might be my first of the sky piece. Yeah, trousers of the sky. Oh, it's not by set. But still, yeah, trousers of the sky. Last one should be over here. Yep. Ah, there it is.
There we go. Well, that makes that other one very small to see as well. Shadow, I mean. Barely noticeable. I wonder if I have like another one like this somewhere. Okay, so. I definitely need an entrance to this place somehow. Or does this lead me there, maybe? Like, this feels weird. Where does this go? Why is this here? Guessing there's probably like a cave for the chasm here somewhere. Just need to get this one in Hyrule Cast, uh, near Hyrule Castle as well, which is like the first location I went to. And some here around Sora's domain. Then I can go fix up everything here. Yeah, I need to pick up two here as well still. Alright, I actually need to check because I forgot to do one shrine here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this one. I have it marked the blue one. So let's go there, actually. One hundred and forty five shrines already. Oh, and one hundred light roots, exactly. <laughs> one more Korok, and I have three hundred Koroks as well. In Breath of the Wild, it would have been one third of all the Koroks. I don't know how many are in this game, though. Okay, let's launch. I am really curious about the thunderstorm. Well, I don't see a shrine up there, that's for sure. Are they there already? I've not been there yet. I've been there though. Ah, this helps. It's nice. Yeah, I guess I could check it out. I'd be fair, is there? Doesn't seem like it though. Maybe a chest in the water? What oh, was a bonk? Ah, it's the rocket arrows. I also really need to start cooking again. Off we go. Oh, what was happening there? Something got shot in there. What is going on there? Oh, that looks so interesting. My stop is down here. Blue piece indicating cave. Okay, let's check the other side, I'm guessing. What 
Golden is here as well, nearby. It's going to be a cave here, right? This looks pretty interesting as well. Oh, there's a blue bee. I'll go there, I guess. Hello, Bloopy. Where's your cave? Ah, oh, there it is. Thank you, Bloopy. That's the law of keys. Right. We're just not back by the wind. That one was also still not back by the wind. here to be fair yeah what battle do we have in here what is this huh do I shoot something through shot something through A spear through. Legend has it that the Zonai hid the treasure in this cave long ago. The clue is as follows Throw the Zonai spear with a wing from the pedestal through the ring. Should your aim be true and right, you'll be blessed with dispelling light. I've thrown the spear countless times in pursuit of this legend, but never once managed to get it through the ring. My spirit's uh, blunted, I have given up. I leave a record of this clue in the hopes that whoever tries next will have better luck. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if the frog is here. I'm pretty sure I heard it before, so no, the frog is not here. Don't eat me. Also, don't eat me, please. Thank you. Oh, I did not hear the frog. Okay, never mind. Why does this look like bait? Oh, there's probably gonna be hands or something. Oh, nothing? Uber gem. This is a way to get back up. Oh, and like straight to the top as well, it seems. Yeah, so would it be better to go outside or go back through and face those like likes? Oh, well, they are leaving me behind. Oh, they're going back to the resting spots. Interesting. That's a pretty cool detail. Oh, this is dangerous. Get a wing from the pedestal. Did they give me a wing to fuse or do I have to bring my own wing? Good thing I have like a million wings. Oops. Take out the bias. There we go. Take a spear. 
I actually took two of them already, never mind. Fuse a wing to it. And throw that in. Oh. That wasn't too hard. But you definitely need to read the text in order to solve that one. So why would you randomly throw a spear? Well, I guess they give you two spears, though. So there is that. Gems. I really wonder how many uh, percentage of the shrines are Roar's Blessings, because I feel like I got a lot of them. Large Sonite charge, okay. And another shrine completed. Very cool. Okay, so should I do the quest for the horse god first? A uh, horse god for the fairy first, so I can maybe upgrade some more armor. Let's see. You are there, but I need one of the stable trotters from there, which I actually don't know where you would be. Um, yeah, let's just see if I can figure it out. Loading screens. There we go. It's trying. Aha, I know that face. Yes, that's a face I know. I've come to meet another great fairy. Great fairy? Ah, I must be mistaken. I really assume because the great fairy Kotera is such a notable attraction to the Dual Link's Peak Stable. Alas, the local great fairy hasn't emerged from her flower bud in quite some time. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the great fairy at the Woodland Stable. She's used to listen to uh, Beat's drums so fondly. Hearing his lively beat again will be the thing to cheer her up, but Beat simply isn't here. Beat is a young drummer who plays from the, uh, for the stable trotters. But one day he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. But there was that traveler who heard a drum somewhere. Where was that again? Maybe near Kakarika village? To the north? Where the road bends around Bonuru's stand? Well, that's all you had to say. Ends towards Bnur's stand. Oh, there. Well, that's an entire area I've not been to yet. Nope. Oh, I need my Korok mask, actually. I forgot about that thing. Well, do I need it? No. Do I want to use it? Yes. There it is. I'm guessing I'm gonna fly up anyway. Oh, 
There we go. Oop. Well, that wasn't a long flight. Actually, I need to talk to mushroom travelers as well. Quite a nice camp you got here. Oh, actually, I can cook here. And I will cook here. Well, cook. It's just me going to be throwing some max food items on there. Oh, I have so much meat and stuff, actually. Probably from all the amiibos, let's be honest. Yeah, this just gives me a full recovery. Plus four. Plus three. Oh, I was critically cook, okay. But still. And just do that, and then add like this. No, that does not work. Like power, maximum hearts. Okay, so that's not combinable, good to know. Uh, I'll just combine you with meat then, I guess. So. Attack one, though. What about using two of them? Raw gourmet meat and raw prime meat. And maybe. I don't know what else is good to use. Don't have like two things that give me attack up as well. Well, two different ones, I mean. Don't know. Ah, fish, yeah. Mighty carp. There we go. Like up one for three minutes. That's not really what I was going for. But I think I can get a very similar result by just doing this. No, oh, it's close. That's defense. Oh, don't eat it. Two mighty carbs. Actually, no. oh, well, I cooked them. Maybe I need to try an elixir. I wonder if I can use these in an elixir, actually. This frocks? That is okay. Because I didn't immediately recognize it. Um so I actually half stuff that gives me attack up though. It's half like I don't think I have something with attack up. So little critters, actually, that's pretty insane. Like monster parts galore, but I have no critters to cook with. Like, look at these measly numbers. Okay, well. How should I try to cook something better then? Not sure if I can. Mighty bananas. Just all the mighty things together. Mighty carp. What else was mighty? Not forgetting something. I had more stuff before, right? Yeah. 
Well, another fish, I guess. Mighty Porgy. Crab. Ooh, that did it. Can I also achieve that without the crab? I wonder. Because I don't have a lot of crabs. Two bananas, maybe? And then also one of the other fish. There. Oh, yeah, that also works. Okay, cool. Can I just do it with bananas alone? Totally can. Okay, wow. Hmm. Guess I could do a few more of these. It only gets plus one though, this one. Doesn't really matter, I want it for a full recovery. One more maybe for the road. So how are we looking now? Oops. Still not that many. I ah, should be fine. Actually, no. I want some uh, heart restoring stuff as well. Or the gloom. Which I need sun lines for. Do I just stack five sun lines? What happens then? Well, that removes the hearts, it doesn't heal them. Two sun lines. Three meats. That's pretty okay. Yeah, that's a pretty good combination. Make sure I will lose one heart each time, but I'm okay with that. That works for me. Don't know how many of these I want, though. Yes, this should be plenty-ish. I have more of these than the normal food ups now. Let's get some no <laughs> more uh, full restores. Should be plenty. End of the cooking session. What's a rock? Are you under? Are you a diving Korok? Oh, there's a lot of current here, so I'm not guessing you're a diving Korok. Let's see. Don't immediately notice where the Korok could be. Spinner is still going here. 
Oh, let's burn that thingy. Okay. Oh, and there's a cooking pot here as well. What? That's interesting. Why would there be a cooking pot here? You know, like in think of the, to the past, you have like this guy under the bridge. Maybe it's a, like a reference to that. Yeah. 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 Trees look suspicious. But they are not. Oh, yeah, they are. Because ah, there was a banana on the floor. This is where I'm at Hestu in Breath of the Wild. Kind of crazy that it did not come over here all this time. Yeah, I was actually watching the birds in the sky instead of watching where I was going with my vehicle. It's very sideways, oh, but two more. So is there gonna be a monster here? Oh no, that's a drummer now. Hello, you're not maracas. Badum badum bidum, badum badum bidum. Yeah, come on, badum badum bidum. Buzz buzz doom buzz 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 doom. What are you doing? Whoa. Hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling beasts with my beat. Ha. Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the musical troupe I play in has been a little down. I figured I'd make him honey crops. That should cheer the maestro right up. Mm. But I can't get my hands on any cruiser bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crap without any, uh, without the honey? Uh, that's why I'm trying to lure some beasts with my beat. All I need are three combs of honey. Aww. Someone said there are beehives around Kakariko village to the north, near that huge hole that opened up. But that hole is pretty scary. No way I'm going anywhere near there. Honey be mine. Well, good for you. I have honey. What's that I smell? Something sweet? Maybe in your pouch there? Here, I have some honey. Mm. Right. My beat didn't reach the beast, but I guess it's got you moving. With these, I can whip up a honey crab for the conductor of my troop on the double. Here's a little something for you, uh, for helping me out. Take it. It's all yours. Silver rupee? <coughs> what do you say? The stable trotters are back in action? Then what am I doing here? They need me to bring the rhythm. I don't know where they are, but if I hit them up, uh, but if I hit up every single stable, I'll run into them sooner or later. It shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop leader my services again. Well, until next time, if there's a time, if there is a next time, see you. Yeah, there will be a next time, very soon. Lightning. Very, very frightening. Did I pick up this chest? I actually forgot. Or is it locked? It is locked. It's a battle chest. Okay. I remember seeing it when I was flying a Korok over. The entire troop together. Beats, our stalwart drummer, Beats has returned. 
Sorry, Troop Leader Ham, making my band members worry about me that way. What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. Yeah, yeah. But the beating heart of the stable trotters pulses once more. Three cheers for our own beats. Every member is essential for our signature uh, sound. Together, we are not just the stable trotters. In my heart, we will always be yeah, yeah. stable gallopers. You have done so much for us. I hardly know where to begin. Let me start with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you. It's five thank yous from the five of us. Yeah, yeah. Attention everyone, this is a new start for the Stable Trotters. May our performances let the great fairies, no, all the travelers, no, no, let everyone in the world be awashed, awash in sweet, soothing music. Ah. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face, one who no doubt shares my concern for the Great Fairy. Yes, I must be mistaken. Oh, you're not mistaken. The bridge to the Great Fairy is broken. How are horses supposed to cross? Yo, the bridge is no good. How about we cross the river? That's right, so we can cross the river. To the river, everyone, all together now. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure the Great Fairy will give you a blessing when she wakes up. If you have the time, I'd be honored if you could be there for our performance. Wait, I don't have to do anything for this one. We're just getting there by themselves. I'll take it. Oh, never mind. Even if we took our off our breezer's wheel and floated across the river, the current would turn the plan right around. The great fairy is so near. Yeah, blah blah blah. Um, uh, put a steering wheel on your breezer. But I guess that wouldn't work, right? Might actually work. Let's go with two fans. Oh, well, no, I really want two fans on that one. Oops. Right, all on board. Open, I'll take you. Yes. I know you don't like being lifted, though. work? Yes, it does. Oh, we're drowning, no. Too heavily loaded. Okay, I see. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of wood around. I didn't think that would be the issue, though. But okay, let's put everything on here. Oh, I need to attach this as well. Oh, I can't, what? It's interesting how that works. Oh, everyone can get in. Open, I'll take you. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I have a feeling that this might sink again. This already looks to be underwater. It's doing something.
That's because the back part is not connected, which is a bit annoying. Yeah, that didn't work out. Okay. How are they so heavy, though? All I need is to connect this. Does not move now. Interesting. Oh, I didn't want to touch it that way. Oh, come on. Sure. We'll do. I might be underwater. Well, not underwater, but standing in water. That's what I'm guessing, but that should be fine. I'll just try it like this, should be fine. We'll check if this already floats. Yeah, that works fine. Okay, get in again, please. Hmm. Hoping I would have some more during capabilities. Please don't be stranded. There we go. First person camera action, nice. Oi! Great fairy! Places, everyone places, the great fairy needs us. Such a nice performance. <laughs> Hello, Kotera. Free at last. That's all the fairies done as well. Oh, we've done it. Mm. Oh, so I think my heart just picked up the tempo. <laughs> the musical stylings of a stable trotters are the cure for anyone's malaise. Yeah, yeah. Thank you once again. I've heard a token of thanks so substantial that I hope your pockets are double stitched. You deserve every last bit of it. Another silver rupee. And now, take my own, that my own pockets are lighter, I can concentrate on the performance. Our musical troupe has finally performed for all the great fairies. I'm moved, I'm inspired, I'm beside myself with joy. 
Thank you so much for not giving up and forging on, despite all the obstacles. Every time the great fairy emerged in our, our response to our music, it gave all of us in this troop confidence in our playing. Mm. If you ever want to hear my beats, stop by a stable. If we're there, I'll give you a rhythm to remember. Ooh. Show's not over, far from it, we're just getting started. But keep playing and making audiences smile all over the kingdom. Mm. It's up to us to pour all our thoughts and feelings into the music when we play. From now on, I want our music to soothe every tra uh, traveler who comes to the stables, not just the great fairies. I consider you an honorary member of our Grand Stable Trotter's troop. Might I know your name? Link, eh? Hmm. So that's we can call. Uh, so that's what we can call the hero who saved our grand troop. I'll remember that. I surely will remember. Our grand troop will continue playing for one and all under a new name. We are the Stable Trotters no more. In honor of this genuine hero, let us be known as the Stable Heroes. From the Stable Gallopers to the Stable Heroes. <laughs> the beat of the drum has lit a fire deep in my heart. Mm. And what about you? Can you feel the heat? Are you ready for more? Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the maximum. Enhance away. Mm -hmm. What do I need for my earrings? Just more amber and flint. Oh, 60 amber though. Oh, but it goes to 28 defense. Whoa. Wowzers, that's a lot of defense. Mm -hmm. Alright, let me do my thing. Also costs 500. <laughs> well, I got kidnapped. <laughs> Very cool. Look, with this level of quality, it's hardly recognizable. Ah. Going to enhance any of your other clothes. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have too many stuff that you can upgrade. Yeah, this goes to 28 as well. This goes to 20, which is also higher than... ...more clothes. Pretty pricey, though. Yeah, I don't need the helmet. I could go for the tunic and the pants. They would both be stronger. I don't really need the materials. So yeah, I'll just do that, actually. And it's away. And this will be the first time since I got the knight armor that I'm not using the knight's armor anymore. <laughs> Kinda crazy. Uh, uh, Enhance away. Mm -hmm. Alien trousers as well. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's out of amber actually. I'll be out of amber. To be fair, there isn't really much else that I want to upgrade. Yeah, these things require star fragments. Oh, I can upgrade the fierce deity boots. Rush scale. Body part. Let's see the pants. Yeah, 12 defense. I just need some Hinox guts, actually. Oh, but that's only for the third enhancement so far. This brings it to 9. Yeah, this is lower defense, isn't it? I guess I'll just go with the Hylian trousers. Don't really need the amber for anything else anyway. There we go. <laughs> yes, done. I hope you like it. Mm. Oh, that's it. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's swap my clothes. 
98, that's a lot, man. Cool. Alright, Atino. I want to die these clothes. Pretty sure I won't be able to do anything about the earrings, but. Should I wear my pants at the same time? I'm There's other pants that I want to make yellow. The froggy pants, maybe. Any helmet I want to make yellow? Not sure if I can paint this. There's not much to paint anyway. This is even paintable. Only one way to find out. I'll die, Michael. Please die. Choose a color. Oh, it is dyeable. Okay. There we go. Like so. 20 rupees, sure, I'll pay that, no problem. <gasps> Yellow. I really like the yellow on the froggy armor, actually. So this will be my battle armor now. Well, it's a bit bright, but I'm okay with it. Right, what's next for me? We try and investigate this cloud thing. Which might not be the worst of ideas. Actually, gonna do that. And if it doesn't work out, I'll find something else to do. Probably explore the um, that mountain region for shrines. Because I really can't be missing that many. I know there's like at least a few in the sky as well that I still need. Oh yeah, actually, let's check if I can still do something with my points for better. Yes. Get producing. What will you produce? Produce five pen. What? I can stack on top of my ring? What does that do? G-Wells. Why are they blue? Why is that a thing? Okay. I was not expecting that in the slightest. That is pretty crazy. Oh. 
Well then, that just happened. I'm only halfway done with my energy thing. Where is the storm? Oh, wait. Oh, hello, I did not see you there, Bert. Those bird things also don't show up in a lot of locations, actually, because they're like Sky Island birds. Oh, I'm way above it, actually. I might want to use, like, the Thunder Helmet. Lightning Helm. I have a feeling it will just kick me off now. Then again, what else am I supposed to do? There's a star here somewhere. But I already visited that one, yeah I did. Right, what's happening here? Thunderhead Isles. I can't see anything. Just kind of the point, I'm guessing. Definitely want to remove my. Just hide it. This is a metal shield. Oh, that scared me. Yeah, okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here yet. It also got its own music, though. Something there. Yeah, I don't think I want to be here just yet. Ah, I can actually see the islands in here. Huh. Is that a boss, I wonder? Or just a small one? A small one. Good thing you didn't let me, well, you knocked yourself down. Very cool. Good. I can't see anything, what is this? Oh. It's raining as well, so I can't really climb it either. I guess this is where I commit defeat, though. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. That one goes like way lower. Can't really reach it. Oh, 
Oh no, I can, I guess. Rhino of Light nearby. Wait, I can see this one. Yeah, that's not what I was expecting. This is the dra- Oh! Dragonhead Island. Another Sage's Will. I need one more. Oh no, I can't see. Okay. So wait, was the factory down here? No, this is where the Spirit Temple is. So was the factory? Oh, up there. But you needed stuff from here, right? To Dragonhead Island? I'm gonna try and find the shrine, though. That's at least one of the shrines I'm missing in the sky. Whoa! It's a big FPS drop as well. Trying to orientate myself based on the prime beeping. Goodbye, little. Uh, this does look interesting. Oh. Okay. There's gonna be a blessing shrine as well because I had to get to the, in the dark or just, just brute force my way here. That's also a possibility. Yeah, this is another blessing shrine. I liked how the battery showed up on my loading screen as well. Like my first layer is like, ooh, a diamond even, okay. The first layer of my battery is just like a bit grayed out now. I wonder if this one extra layer will be the only layer or if there's like another color you can go to. Alright, what's there to see around here? Ooh. Interesting. I was not expecting you to be up here. Oh, well, I don't have the thingies, no, but... I was not expecting a shrine to be up here. Can I open you? Okay, I didn't need that many hearts for this door. What is this? Oh wow, I thought that was an item. Okay, can all of you please move here for a second? What is this gonna teach me? Oh, that's like the owl statue below. Stuff's happening. What is this doing? 
Link. Zelda's chosen protector. Yeah, that is Minoru. Follow the light. Was some random voice acting again as well. I was not expecting any voice acting here. Guidance from oh, it's a main quest even. Oh, I can't pick it up. Where is it gonna guide me though? I know the factory is north of here, right? Yeah, there it is. It's pointing me almost straight north, actually. Can I, like, fuse this to... Ah, okay, that's better. The vehicle, I wanted to say, but I'll just glide down with it. Oh, there's a ball machine here as well. Hello, what do you have for me, machine? Gotcha. I'm guessing I'll just put a steering stick on it as well. It's a bit easier to maneuver. I like this music. So I want to put rockets on. Can I use you to here? It sure can, okay. Then I am going to put rockets on, I think. That should be fine. <laughs> Famous last words. Ah, the rockets might actually prevent me from sliding. Ah, should be fine. Is this the weird thing that I was thinking about exploring before? Yeah, I think it is. Okay, that's a coincidence. So that's kind of lucky that I didn't come here first. Right, you just glide. I kind of forgot about that. Well. Show me. Will something open? Okay, I was kind of expecting to slide to the side. Okay. What's going on?
So does it want me to pick it up again? Oh, I'm carrying it again. Guessing that's a yes. Discovery. Oh, it's a chasm. Okay. Huh. Ah, yeah, this looks very similar to that other thing. So I will have to bring this to the... To the dungeon. To the spirit temple. It might actually just lead me to the spirit temple. Yeah, this is preparing you for the dungeon. Link. Zelda's chosen protector. You must hurry. We must meet as soon as possible. Okay. Yeah, this got me really intrigued, actually. Huh, it is the factory. Oh, and that's what the pl Okay, that's what the hole is, I wanted to say. Yeah, so building this robot will be the first part, and then I go to the temple. Because this is the head, yeah. And now the other parts will be available as well, I'm guessing. Oh, the other way around. Oh, it flipped itself, that's nice. Oh, this is like the temple, I guess. It's like, hey, collect the four thingies. Link, Zelda's chosen protector. I like her voice. My name is Minoru. It is Minoru. I am the Sage of Spirit. I am happy you have arrived. At last, we can speak with each other. Unfortunately, I no longer have a body. Without a physical form, we cannot yet speak face to face. But, do you see the four storehouses in the area? Well, lighting them up makes it a lot easier. I would ask you to visit each of them and assemble a body for me. Yeah, I can do that. This is my request to you, Link. Loyal swordsman to Zelda. All right. Time for another vehicle. So I wonder if these things inside will be different now. Can I press this now? I can, okay.
This closes, yeah, that's what I was expecting. And now I have to transport this. Yeah, 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 okay, that makes sense. Because I can't have an MC though by bring my vehicle in here. It's actually an interesting problem here. So you basically need electricity resistance to be able to clear this one. There's no way I will be able to put it on my back here, right? I guess I can build a vehicle with the parts here, though. Like, there's a bunch of wheels. Let's try to fly first, huh? Will this even be able to lift? No. Yeah, I'm guessing a vehicle it is. That's not how you were supposed to attach. I'm guessing with enough fans this would actually fly, but... Oops. There we go. Oh, come on, just grab it, Link. Thank you. Close enough. Yeah, it's the back of the car. Old assumption of me to make, I know. Oh, I can actually take my vehicle with me. Alright. so hard. That's uh, because my car is actually working against me. Oh, please don't get stuck. Okay, now let's try this. Uh, here we go. Come on, you can make this. It's really the wind working against me here. Um, so I'm stuck as well. Oh, oh you're 
supposed to be hitting me. Okay, let me actually just... Right, there's water here. Oh, why is there water here? I don't want to deal with you guys right now. Does not work, right? Oh, did I miss something? Oh, mind. I just force it in. Actually, have to puzzle it in. That's one. Bring the other three here as well, Link. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> so with this one, I'm gonna make a boat, it seems. Is this the lava one? Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's gonna close behind me again. I wonder how this is gonna help me though. What are some cool camera movements? Now I have the same issue as before. Just, uh, can. Okay, now I see what I can do. I can make a vehicle out of this. Somewhat. I see what I need to do here, actually. Put my wheels on the sides. Oh, this thing makes so much more sense if you have this building block. better. Well, so much for lining you up better. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this. I can pull it open as well with my car.
Am I hitting ground or right away doesn't this work? Yeah, I guess that's not the solution then. Sad. Was pretty hyped for this actually. Pretty sure I can get it through there, like this. There we go. Off we go. Guessing I need fans. And this is like showing me that I can propel or something, I guess. Is that what they want me to do? Not sure how I can propel her though. Okay, this is pretty cool. Ah! Oh. Failed my drift. They angry at me again. Or no, it was the robot throwing the rock. That was the big bokoblin. The bokoblin boss. Let's dismantle you. Will you be dismantled by yourself? You will. Alright, two more pieces. And that's another part. Two left. I really like her voice. Um. It's not that far, I can just walk there. Where's the last part though? I was up in the sky? I don't remember. Yeah, okay, what does this part look like? Just an ordinary block. Yeah, just a small block, okay. Well, we're flying up, I guess. I don't think I, I went into this one actually. I'm guessing this will angle it. Both of us. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. Something like this, yeah. The 
thing is, I need to be honest myself as well, I feel like. No, I don't have to. Okay, cool. Oh, I can still get it up here. Oh, there's a Blinko machine there. Hmm, I want to get that one. I'm guessing this one will be giving rockets. Wow, six items even. Yeah, rockets were also one of them. A lot of steering sticks. Did I even get that? Oh, I got everything, okay. Yeah, the left leg depot I just uh, skipped over, it seems like. Whoops. Start to see here. Lasers. Ooh, a chest. Can use you to protect me, right? Oh, I actually can't. Oh, I can. I just hold it right there for a bit. It's actually fighting really hard to. Most secure chest in the game. For some large zone, I need. Sounds weird being able to do that. That worked. And now... Oops. Need to bring you back to the middle. And about that, I actually don't really have an idea yet. Oh. I see what you're putting down. I like it. Just two rockets. One rocket is not nearly going to get me far enough. Oh well. Better than nothing, I guess. Never mind, one rocket did actually really well. This robot is actually pretty cool looking. One more left, Link. The body for my spirit is nearly complete. So is that thing always going to be running around with me as well? Ah, it is up there. Yeah, let's just 
do this for convenience sake. I'm guessing I would need to go all the way up there and then glide down there. Oh yeah, this one was the one with the rails. Is this one gonna be hooked or something? I wonder. Well, no, I just need a platform, I guess. Can I fly around with this on my back? This thing also seems quite heavy. Yeah, that's a bit too heavy. Automatically goes. Ah, great. long <laughs> did I break off This is supposed to work. Oh, I think I s no, I don't see. No, actually, no, I think I got it. Bunk. Just do this. We're onto something by going sideways, like so. Then I just need you to also do the same. You want like this? You want like this? So to push to the. Little as well. The only thing is, I actually I started before putting it on, right? It's a little bit too heavy. Oh, it is way too heavy. Okay, never mind. I just make like my own lift with this thing. I'm not even sure that's got even close.
We'll see. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel it. I think just my own lift might have been enough, actually. God, that's nice. Not at all the intended way. the wing though. These are actually some really fun puzzles to do. Will this not be too heavy, I wonder? This airborne. Close enough, right? Right, that's the last part. Such a cool robot. go, that's your body completed. I guess this is the cutscene we saw from the trailer. Yeah, this is what we saw in the trailer. The side view. Thank you, Link. Now only one task remains. We must recover my secret stone. Thank you. I knew it where to go. should be located here. Please, Link. Let us go there together. The path will be very dangerous. Fortunately, this construct body you have built for me is hardly helpless. There is a platform nearby where we can explore its potential. Okay. Now hurry, Link. We must recover my secret stone. Wait, can I ride you? Miner's Construct abilities. You can ride on Miner's Construct. Oh, so cool. Yeah, I like that.
I can just attach some random weapons here now. Mm. Link. The weapons here can draw forward the true power of this construct. Attach one to a hand and your and your power in combat will be magnified several fold. Uh -huh. The road to the sacred stone is long and arduous. Arduous? I recommend that you make stops at each armory along the way. Get accustomed to operating this construct so that you are prepared for whatever you may face. You can attach things to the hands or back of Mineral's construct. The attached objects can augment the construct's movement or combat abilities. Cool. Oh. Metal plate, now. Spike ball on the left hand. Some part maybe. And you are a fire emitter. Yeah. Cool. So this is also the path with like all the rocks I'm guessing that I saw before. Okay, so it still counts as me being hit. Oh, you hit like this. Just like no damage. Yeah, burning you is just a better way to do things. Where do I need to go even? In between here, down there. Oh, you're a strong one. I wonder if these weapons ever break. I think they like pick like the strongest enemies to stand here as well. Ooh, a fan on my back, I would like that. Yes. Link is only a device when attached to the construct's back can greatly enhance its mobility. We have far to go before we reach the temple with the secret stone. Speed would be our ally here. <laughs> this looks funny. I'm a fast robot. The issue is just that everything has like too much HP. What's in here? Hmm. I think attaching the proper weapon to this construct will enable it to attack distant enemies. Take careful aim and the tide of battle will turn in our favor. Go forth and defeat the monsters which stand in our way. The cannon? Sure. And the beam emitter? Also sure. 
Just like stickles. Well, that didn't. Okay, I like that a wall actually. But why? Is this the right way? I put this. So I'm guessing I'm coming up on the break of the rocks. I think they were in the scan, yeah? my battery ever recharge? There's a fan about to break actually. I've never seen a fan break before. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, this is the excavation part. I think we are close to the secret stone. Pour the hidden power in the concert and press onward. Okay. <laughs> the meter doesn't do anything, right? We'll swap the beam meter with a spiked iron ball. And I will put that thing on my back again as well. Can this like smack through it? Oh, it can, cool. That wasn't too bad. Give me all those other knives. They already broke. Nice. Well, time to fly over there. Oh, and I will have to fix the bridge. want to deal with you. Because they're all black ones and one silver one it seems. Well I could rocket launch myself up there I think. Try that actually. There's so many rockets around. Mm. I think that is a spirit temple, but this construct cannot climb a sheer cliff face. However, the construct might be modified somehow in a way that enables access. Uh -huh. Go, Link, we are drawing very near now to the secret stone. Does this do what I think it will do? There's like rockets everywhere. Totally, that's nice. Low spirit temple.
No, that activated the uh, thingy. I'm guessing this might just be a boss battle room now, because we already had like the collect the four parts. Yeah, okay, this is the boss battle room. Oh, and we have to fight in a robot, it seems. Actually, not looking forward to fighting in a robot. But I will have to. Because this entire thing is covered in... gloom. Alright, what's gonna happen here? What am I gonna fight? creation into his pawn we must defeat it we can do this together link sure thing. Uh, how am i gonna do this let's go we have to stop that construct i just smack it that's like doing no damage Oh, I have to push it against the uh, electricity. We keep knocking it over, but that is all. something. That oh, it did. Maybe we can make use of the devices around us. Well, which devices? Was it there hit on me? Those devices are very dangerous. Be careful. Oh, you should pass her, I mean, see. 
Side. I could shoot you so you're stunned. I just want two cannons, maybe. Yeah, I was not expecting to find this tier as well. Give me a heart container. Oh, I didn't take a picture of the boss. Heart container. Let's buy more hearts. So who's going to take this one? The construct? <sighs> the construct. A 
Hello, Minerva. Minerva, why do I always call you Minerva? Minerva. Minerva. I am the Sage of Spirit, and one of the Zonai. Minerva. Hello, Minerva. I am glad to meet you, Link. I must thank you. It is because of you that we have recovered my secret stone. Originally, my intent was to awaken when you first found the Porapad, then to guide you to my construct and assist you on your journey. I had not anticipated a battle with that same construct. You have proven quite adept, and I am grateful for all your efforts. Link, here. In the name of Minoru, Sage of Spirit, I grant my power unto you. I believe it will serve you well. Yeah, there it is. The fifth power. With this power I've given, a deep bond has been forged between us. And from this point forward, my spirit will reside within that construct. I will help you however I can. I am one who lived in a distant past, in the age of Hyrule's founding. Circumstances forced me to forsake my body and become a being of pure spirit. Long have I slumbered within Zelda's Pirapat in order to share what I knew when it passed into your hands. I apologize that our meeting has been so long delayed. The Demon King's interference is to blame. Nevertheless, I ask your pardon. Well then. Now, on to the topic at hand. In my own age, the distant past, from your perspective, Zelda awakened as a sage of time and appeared before us. What I must relate to you is a tragedy that occurred in Hyrule's history. Its crux was Zelda, who held a secret stone and traversed time. Uh -huh. He made a momentous decision in those days gone by. I would have you know of the resolve she poured into that blade, the Master Sword. Long ago. My people, known as the Zonai, came down from the heavens to the surface of the world. It was said they were descendants of gods. They bore treasures from these same gods, secret stones capable of amplifying the abilities of those who possessed them. Using the knowledge of the Zonai, my younger brother Raru became a great leader. He met a young woman named Sonia, and they would wed. Raru gifted Sonia one of the secret stones. Together, they sought to establish their kingdom. This is how the kingdom of Hyrule, with Raru and Sonia as its first king and queen, came to be. The future looked bright. However, tragedy suddenly struck. A man of great evil emerged from the desert. The leader of the Gerudo, Ganondorf, killed Queen Sonia and stole her secret stone. Using the secret stone, Ganondorf transformed into the Demon King. He then created swarms of monsters and attacked. Hyrule rose up to face these threats. But the evil power driving the monsters forward was staggering. The defenders were on the brink of defeat. Raru then came up with a plan to turn the tide of the war. 
He entrusted secret stones to warriors with exceptional abilities. They became sages and united in an effort to finally defeat the Demon King. Raru and the sages outnumbered the Demon King and should have been able to stop him. However... The Demon King's power had grown far beyond anything we could have imagined. I was unable to withstand his strength. Our fight appeared all but lost. And then, Raru. committed himself to one final act. so smug. I know exactly what it will cost me. Uh, Raru! <laughs> Thousands of years will pass in the blink of an eye. You only delay the inevitable. You're wrong. Years from now, someone will appear with the sword that seals the darkness. A swordsman with the power to defeat you. Link, remember this name. Oh, that main team there. Okay, well, now we know how that came to be there. Uh -huh. You know this tragedy as the imprisoning war. So it took all that we were able to give. We succeeded in imprisoning the Demon King. But I was wounded in the process. My body was soon to expire. Well, then. That is when Zelda came to me, bearing a decayed and broken sword. Yes, you will recall how the Master Sword vanished from your hand at the Temple of Time. From there, I traveled into the distant past, appearing in Zelda's hands. And now, you hold it once again. You're saying that sword traveled through time the same way you did? Yes, but more importantly, in my original time, the Demon King was vulnerable to even the smallest piece of this sword. Even someone like him has vulnerabilities. Hmm. Then, what exactly are you suggesting we do with the sword? Over time, the Master Sword is able to absorb sacred power. It can heal itself and even grow stronger. There was like five Curious. steam. If we were able to empower it in that way, it could be the key to defeating the Demon King. 
But it could take centuries for that sword to grow strong enough. The power the Demon King wields. I do not see how this can be done. It would be impossible for you to provide it with sacred power for so long. I can think of one way. You mean... Yes, I can do it. I have to. I've told you. That act is forbidden. For a very good reason. It would mean throwing yourself away. <laughs> oh, Maru! <gasps> You won't be able to change back. The moment I had the sword, I knew what to do. I knew this was why I came to this era. I... I want to restore the Master Sword and deliver it to Link. You really have made up your mind? <sighs> Very well then. As a Zonai, I bear my share of blame for these events. So I too will devote myself to this goal and to this hero of yours. For the Swordsman Link, I will do everything I can. Even if my body should perish, I will still be with you in spirit. Afterwards, Zelda and I discussed the strategy. We laid the groundwork for guiding you in the distant future. Well then. Before the gloom's affliction took my life, I became a spirit and entered the Pura Path. And Zelda did what she felt she must and began the forbidden process. She believed you would use the Master Sword to defeat the Demon King and restore peace to Hyrule. Aha. You already have in hand the weapon, uh, the hope that Zelda left to you. The sword that seals the darkness, the Master Sword. Well then. Go now, Link. With the Sword of Hope that Zelda left to you, you will surely smite Demon King Ganondorf. The power of Mineral and Sage of Spirits. Use it to summon or dismiss the construct containing Mineral Spirits. Objective Trail of the Master Sword? Ah, complete, okay. Minerus profile has been added. Okay. Memories have been added, yeah, that's true. So the only. Oh no, I'm missing two memories, I think. Yeah, my very first one. The eleventh one. What can you produce? I am a smithing construct. Mineral created me to try to unlock the hidden potential of Sonite charges. I was made with a unique ability to temper Sonite for weapons and equipment. Ah, so there is one. I was wondering. I was driven into hiding when a minion of a demon king occupied the spirit temple. But you and Mineral have cleared the way. I can perform my work once again. You have my whole heart, thanks. I would ordinarily not work for anyone other than Mineral. But you are a special case. I will gladly exchange my special weapons and equipment with you. It will be up to you to provide the Zonite. Jesus. Oh, well, those are some nice items to get, actually. Is there another one there? Yeah. Ooh, you need more materials. I've been tasked by Mineru with gathering materials from the depths. This was meant to aid her research. 
My progress was interrupted when the servant of the Demon King occupied the Spirit Temple. Your efforts have allowed me to return to my duty. I offer you my deepest thanks. This is one of the fruits of my excavation. Take it with my gratitude. Okay, cool. That's very nice. I previously informed you that Minoru tasked me with excavating, uh, with excavating uh, materials in this vicinity. One such material was Sonite. I would ask you to offer me all that you can spare. Payment would be of course provided in return. I can offer you one ancient blade for every 50 pieces of Sonite. We already have a sufficient amount of Sonite. Nope, I don't need any more ancient blades right now. But it's a quest, really. There's an icon here. The spitting construct. So wait, you use sell weapons, but you also sell gear. Doesn't look like it, right? No. Just these things. And this is another Pokemon Battle Arena. Also some pretty cool music down here. Alright, so now I have Minoru by my side as well. It's pretty cool. Alright, but uh, that's gonna be it for today. It's already gotten quite late and uh, I think this is a good time to, to stop as well. Like, right after getting Minoru's power. Completing the spirit temple, which wasn't really a temple, it's just a boss fight. But con getting the construct on by itself was a temple, I'm guessing. Which was still pretty cool in and of itself. But uh, yeah, let's continue this tomorrow. That will be it.